Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever doing a DIY project. Um, some of my other videos on this channel are from like 10, 12 years ago, so just apologize right now. Um, just a quick introduction. My name is Carrie, and I have lots of projects to do this year as we just built a house a year ago and um, I was pregnant during that first year and so now I have lots of projects to do. Um, and one of the projects that I'm going to start with today is the um, end table that I have and excuse me this is my daughter. I'll see if I can turn this around. For Kendall, say hi. Hi. Welcome to camp. Today my mom's going to do a lot of parts. <laughs> That's my dog Moss in the background. Um, so today I'm going to redo an end table that I have. Um, I've had these end tables. My mom gave them to me. She's had them for like years. And I don't want to buy a new end table because I really can't find something that I'm like in love with. Um, the funny thing is, is that I, I like something at Target and it's like 70 bucks and I don't want to spend $70 on this like upside down trash can basically. Um, but the funny thing is, is the stuff that I bought to redo this end table ended up being about $70 anyway. So it is what it is. Sorry about that, I had to let my dog out. Um, so the projects that I'm gonna be doing this summer, um, I am not a professional. I normally just do things that I have around the house, I use those things. Um, and if it works, it works. I'm not trying to be professional at this. So, I mean, if you wanna correct me, go ahead. I don't really care because it still works for us. Um, and I'm not destroying anything that I love so much. So if I destroy it, then yeah, it is what it is. It can always be redone. Um, so anyways, let's get to the project. This is the end table that I'm going to do. It's a hexagon. Um, uh, the glass piece and the brass. I don't, I don't like brass. So that will be painted over. Um, so anyways, so I just want to show you some things that I got at Menards. Um, I'm kind of excited because some of the videos that I watched, were, you know, a lot of them were like the chalk paint. And I'm going to do chalk paint, but what I did find at Menards was, hold on, that's the, is this Rust-Oleum chalked. And I got it in linen white. Um, we'll see how this works. I've never chalked anything with spray paint so um we'll start there and then I'll let you know what I'm kind of going to do for like the glass part but what I'm going to do first is wash the table so I got some soap and water and some scotch scrubs or whatever you call them what are they scotch bright scrubs um and let's start so yeah, there. I got some Scotch bright and then it's just some soap and hot water. And then we're just gonna scrub it down. I'm gonna take the glass piece off because I'm gonna work with that later. Okay, so I have the table all washed. Um, after washing it, I have some towels here to dry it off and um, we'll start painting it. Um, I'm told from all the videos that I've seen for like chalk paint and stuff, um, they don't sand anything. So we're just gonna go ahead and go over whatever um, type of wood this is. Look! So I decided that the um, bottom is a little more shinier than the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some 120 grit sandpaper and just kind of sand it just a little bit and then wash that down again to get all the dust off. But um, I just want something that the paint sticks to and that wood, it just kind of looks like it might just peel off like some other project that I did do. Um, that was with paint though, this 
that wasn't with chalk paint. So this is actually my first time doing um, chalk paint on wood. I did do a piece of furniture with chalk paint, um, which I will so do in a spot later. here was kind of bubbling. Um, I can't remember what this piece of wood is called, but you can tell me down in the comments, but it's um, like that cheaper type of wood, but this is bubbling on the top, so I don't want that to show, so I am going to sand this part down pretty good to get those bubbles off of there. I'm going to go ahead and sand some of this brass part. Um, I don't want this showing, but I know some of this brass is like super dirty, so... Um, I'm going to sand that down and hopefully that'll stick better. Um, the chalk paint will stick better onto that too because I haven't really decided if I wanted this a different color or not. Um, but for right now, we're just going to paint it um, all with the white it's chalk. All cleaned up and we're going to go ahead and paint it with our chalk hey paint. Guys, here we go. See how this goes on. I feel like it's not sticking at all. There we go. Hmm. No. Hang on a little bit better. That part must have not been dry. Did I miss it? That's the problem with hexagon shapes is that I'm like, where did I start? Um, so it's going on better with the dry parts and I dried it off again before I started. So it seems to be working a little bit better here. So that's what it looks like on the brass. We'll see how that dries. It's bubbling up again on that top and that is dry. I made sure that I looked at it. So I'm not sure this is that good. I might need to sand this more maybe. Um, kind of get that gloss off of it. Maybe that's why, I'm not sure. Again, this is my first time using this stuff. So if you have any pointers and have used this and it works well with you, um, let me know. Okay, you guys, it would have been a lot easier to um, paint it instead of spray paint. Um, I don't find that it, the spray paint is really coming out really well, like regular paint. Um, but if you can see, like, there's some, like, dripping and stuff, and the bottle's kind of hard to squeeze, so... A second coat I am gonna let this dry and then I have to actually put it upside down to kind of get underneath there too um, I don't like this stuff I'm not gonna lie um, again if you've got some pointers on using the spray paint chalk paint from rustoleum let me know um, but so far I don't like it I didn't get this part that good because I'm actually doing something different on this one and I'll show you and I should have wore gloves because the bottle is like spurting out. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, um, I will show you the next step of what I'm going to do with this while this dries. I'm going to, um, I still haven't decided what Sticky color I back, a uh, backsplash things. But they're like 20 bucks a piece and I found this. And this is wall textured wallpaper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out and spray paint that. I've got some different types of metallic spray paints. I'm not sure what color I want to do yet. Um, I'm going to test it out though and see. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this underneath where the glass goes right here. Um, and I thought this would work better because with that other stuff, that might be too thick for the glass to sit on top and be flush with the wood. So I think this will work really nice. I did buy some like roll up cork board to put this on to kind of make it more sturdy where the, the bigger holes are. But we'll see how that goes because that might make it even thicker too. Um, trial and error. So I will come back with what color I'm gonna do. A piece of that textured wallpaper. Um, and these are the colors I got. I got, yes, I have spray paint again. Um, metallic paint and primer. This one is in oil rubbed bronze. Kind of looks 
a little too dark, but we'll see. Um, and then I got flat burnished amber, and then the flat antique nickel. This is probably what I'm gonna go with um, because like I said, this is gonna go on top of here and then the glass is gonna go on top. So it kind of depends on what kind of, look at this stuff, you guys. This is ridiculous. I don't like this. We'll see how it goes. But um, I think I'm probably gonna end up doing the nickel. Um, my house has really dark um, brown, uh, trim and then white doors and white cabinets for the kitchen. So um, I think I'm just still going to go with the antique nickel. Even though the, the dark one would look good, I just think it almost looks black. But we'll see what it looks like when I do this. So let me start with the nickel. Okay, I've never used these cans, so bear with me. Slide. Slide where? Oh my god. Just so you know, I am blonde. I colored it red. So, let's see. Where'd he slide it? Oh, the arrows say up. Seriously. Okay, let me get okay, literally it just like slides off. So that was that of me. Okay. I'm not used these cans. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty, you guys. I love that so far. Okay, so let's try the brown. Let's see out of the way. Mm. It's not a hard no, but... I don't know that I want like, I don't know, it kind of looks like shit, it's like literal poop, but okay, this is the oil rubbed bronze. I really like how these spray, you guys. Again, I, I mean, that looks black, so. I'm probably gonna go with the nickel. I'll probably do another coat to see what that looks like, but I kind of wish it was a little bit darker, but I think I'm gonna go with that one. These are really cool, you guys. I really like how they spray. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I traced the glass piece for the um, top of the table. And then this is the wallpaper, so I'm just gonna cut this out and then I'm going to um, do the spray paint on it and see where that okay. goes. So here we go. I'm going to do the Rust-Oleum Metallic in Flat Antique Nickel. really screw this up because it's so textured but I don't know with me I'm so impatient with things that I will probably somehow but I've got a roll of paper so I can always redo it the nice thing about this is that it's interchangeable so like with those other colors I could just do another one and switch them out but here's what it dries that is kind of pretty but like from the video it does look black um, my husband said no to the middle. Um, let's keep going here. Some of that may look white, but it's actually shining from the light up top. Hence that it's metallic. I want it a little bit darker, so I'm going to go ahead and do one coat, and then I will do another one after that. Um, just to get it a little bit of the darker nickel that I wanted from the stick on back uh, backsplash um, that I liked about that one. So I'll do another coat after this dries. We'll let this dry and then I'll let that dry a little bit and we'll get 
back so, to that. It's still kind of bubbled. I'm hoping with the second coat that that will be gone, um, especially those drips and stuff. So we'll see what the second coat does with it and then we'll start distressing it after that um, dries. But so far I'm not, I'm not liking it, you guys. This is not like my other projects where I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be so beautiful. No, I don't like it. Second coat is not looking too bad. And I hope that the camera can kind of show that too, that it's not looking bad, except for the drips. <laughs> Hopefully those will be the parts that I'm gonna sand to distress it though. So other than the drips, the second coat, it's not looking too bad. Um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight though before I distress. I'm a little nervous to distress it because like I said, with that shiny wood, I feel like last time I did this with a desk that I did with that cheap glossy wood that um, it kind of came off, kind of chipped off. Um, We'll see how this goes though. I know that chalk paint is a little bit different than regular paint, but who knows with this spray paint, chalk paint. Um, I kind of left some of the spots that are a little bit darker because that's what I'm distressing it for is to kind of see those spots on there. But um, I'm gonna let this sit overnight and I'll see you guys back. Okay, I'm back and it actually is not the next day. Um, I opened the garage doors and it's been about four hours and it's dry. Um, I am not sure if I want to scuff it up. I still don't like it. I'm not sure that I even like the look in the matte color yet, but I'm going to go ahead and scuff it up. Again, if I don't like it, then I can go ahead and redo it. And that'll be another video. But, so I'm just gonna... Do that on the... Not any pattern. Oh, I'm so nervous to do this. But, this is my first time using chalk paint, especially the... Um, paint like what the hell I don't like that and that just looks like a dog hair so let's do that again there that looks a little bit better here's the finished product glasses on I absolutely love the top and I love that it could be interchangeable because I thought about even maybe doing that um, kind of teal color rustic old farmhouse type of teal green I don't know teal aqua whatever you call it but there it is thanks everybody for watching my first DIY project it's my first video, so it's not that great of quality because it's done on my iPhone and it's my first time ever shooting a video like this. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, I have plenty of other projects to do this summer um, from furniture to gardening stuff because we still don't have any landscaping on our new house. Um, so I might be doing some videos with that. So please subscribe and thanks for watching.